We think of the right to retain a lawyer as a fundamental right. So can the government prevent people from hiring lawyers in certain cases? The United States Supreme Court considered that question in Walters v. National Association of Radiation Survivors. Congress created a cooperative, non-confrontational evaluation process for military veterans and their families seeking Veterans Administration death or disability benefits. A rating board evaluated a claimant's application, and the veteran could request a hearing. The benefit amount wasn't based on need. Instead, it was based on the connection between the veteran's military service and the disability and how much the disability had incapacitated the veteran. The board either denied the claim or assigned a rating based on its assessment of the disability. The rating controlled the amount of benefits the veteran would receive. A veteran could appeal to the Board of Veterans' Appeals. As before the rating board, appeals hearings were relaxed and non-adversarial. The veteran appeared ex parte, and the rules of evidence didn't apply, and courts couldn't review the Board of Veterans' Appeals' decision. A federal statute limited the potential attorney's fee to $10. A lawyer who charged more than $10 risked federal criminal penalties. But several veterans' organizations offered free assistance to help claimants present their claims. The National Association of Radiation Survivors, seeking compensation for members injured by atomic bomb tests, sued Harry Walters, Administrator of Veterans Affairs, claiming that the attorney fee limitation violated due process and the First Amendment. The district court ruled in the association's favor, and enjoined enforcement of the attorney fee cap. The government appealed to the United States Supreme Court.